So Edgar, shall we do the walking tour? Yes. All right. Walking tour of the Oliver residence. In that case, I think I'll take you first into the other room. Okay. You needed some. Oh, that's by the way is a picture of you, right? Um, that one. Yeah. I think those are. I don't know who those are. Hi. <laughs> so, Andy, this is Custodius. Hi, Andy. Hello. Andy. Mind if I get a video shot no, of you? It's okay. Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. We're doing um, uh, an Ed. An edgumentary, an Edgar, an edgumentary. <laughs> so that's the delicious vaudeville poster. Yes, that was a great show. I loved that show. Yeah. Are those guys still working together? No, they've all disbanded. Oh, that's too bad. A version of it going in Las Vegas. Yeah. This is the famous Brian Damage desk. It's a desk, but it doubles as a castle. There's the castle floor, it, very chessboard like. It doubles as a castle. I like that. That's Thank you. <laughs> and this is Brian himself. Oh, that's the great Brian. It's Brian Damage. Boy, that's some more brownish painting. The the background, um, in this slide, I guess it's hard to tell. It's actually gold. Oh. Um, you know, at that point, Brian... Well, Brian always had gold in hair, but at that point his hair was... Why? I think completely white and he was extremely tan which uh -huh. made him seem for some reason as though he were actually made out of gold and so I him gave him a gold iconic background and the reason he's holding his arms like that is that he had fallen off of the Palisades uh -huh. in New Jersey while prancing along the edge of a cliff. Uh, Brian had no fear of heights, whatever. Uh, and he fell off the cliff and broke his shoulders. Oh. His Poor guy. Then he later died of AIDS. This is one of Brian's heads that he made from a wig mannequin head. And he made it by curving the styrofoam with Krylon spray paint. Cry um, spray paint like mm -hmm. that. Krylon eats styrofoam. Mm -hmm. So you just would carve the foam with the paint itself. What was that again? You just eat away the eye sockets and the gaping, rotted mouths of the um, strange creature. That's one of our um, Jewish ancestors from Richmond. Where'd the picture come from? Family heirloom? Mm hmm Yeah. And where was she from? From Richmond. Oh, wow. Okay. And, um, well, I think that they were slave traders. Oh. Just kind of strange. That's kind of scary. 
And this is a painting by Canberra. Oh, Canberra Fowler. Yeah, the lead singer of the voluptuous horror of Karen Black. Yeah. And one of the great performance artists. Great, really great. Of the world, really. I remember her act, uh, Abracadaver. She had that. Yes. She went by the name of Abracadaver. Yes. She, she's a great artist. Yeah, she is. And Samoa, is she still with Samoa? Yes. Yeah. Samoa is a great artist too. Yeah. Um, and they, they just disbanded the voluptuous horror of Karen Black. Oh. Um, and I, I'm just really curious to see what Camera will do on her own again. That's me. Oh. Sipping a goblet full of red wine. Much as you aren't now, you're yes. sipping white wine. I switched to white for some odd <coughs> reason. I don't know why exactly I did that. Except that my lips were constantly dyed black <laughs> from all the dye they put in cheap red jug wine, you know, to keep it. Red. I didn't know they put it, what, dye in it. Well, maybe they don't, actually. I don't know. This but, is another piece of Brian's castle desk that became separate from the desk, right? Somehow? This was made as a separate piece. Oh, I see. It's the drawbridge. And... Uh, actually it does. So wow. It's, so that the peasants can flee into the wall <coughs> when the <coughs> Huns descend across the bed. <laughs> Which hopefully they do. <laughs> Is this where you sleep, Edgar? Yes. Mm -hmm. And um, and this. Well, this part did fall off. I oh, feel. okay. Um, and the cast is very tricky to move. Right? This fell off. And this is the postern gate of the castle, mm -hmm. which is where the, um, I guess, the bales of provisions for all the soldiers and the duke and duchess would be delivered, and you know, it has this little one now. You know, one of those little things that, with that, uh, where you can put a pulley on, and draw the, the bales of fiddles up into the storeroom. There was a little balcony that's falling off, which I have, and a small staircase leading down to, I guess, the kitchen. And, uh, the clock in the clock tower is a functioning alarm <laughs> clock. There's a bishop's hat that another Brian Damage creation lurking back there. Yeah. Probably he wore it. Spear of Destiny, I would think it was from. Yes. And that's one of Helen's paintings, an early one from Paris, of Nadine's mother, Madame McPherson, holding her hand straight. I love that paint. David Mellins and Philip. The cat. Oh, I remember Philip. Philip was an amazing cat. What happened to Philip? Well, he eventually died of kitty leukemia. Oh my god. Which I'm convinced he got from the vaccine. Because he came down with it right after we had him vaccinated. Oh. I loved Philip. He was a savage and passionate cat. Sitting in the lap of a shy and retiring boy, David Mellon, <coughs> who uh, became a, a Buddhist scholar. Which I think was a very good thing for him.